You're on again, you and Boone. Hi, everybody. As we try again, I hope that this is a Facebook thing. We have improved our internet. We have cleared the phones. We have done everything possible. And it keeps crashing. <laughs> Isn't that right, Boone Boone? Should we just give up? Thank you. <laughs> this big guy is Boone. Boone is a blind kitty that came to us from Animal Control and where else but Boone, North Carolina. We're going to do a fast Q&A with you guys for about five or ten minutes and then we're going to open boxes and we'll give you a mini tour and let's cross our fingers and hope that Facebook will cooperate. I'm going to answer some of the most common questions we get asked. I'd like to give a chance for people to get here show them Mr. Hermes. People ask us all the time if you why there's a lot of cats don't have eyes. Hermes still has his eyes. Hey, his eyes. We don't take their Hi. eyes back out unless they're totally destroyed by infection. You see, there's nothing wrong with Hermes other than his eyes just simply don't work. The same with Boom Boom. Boom Boom. Look over there. Boom Boom's. Big Boom Boom. Oi. <laughs> well, that'd be awesome, Amanda. We appreciate that. Okay, so, how many people we got? Uh, we're up to 130. Okay, so let me go ahead and answer the most common questions, and you guys can throw new questions at me. We're located in St. Paul's, North Carolina, USA. That's right outside of Fayetteville, Fort Bragg, home of the 82nd Airborne. We have 90 cats. We have two buildings, and in this building, pretty much everybody's blind. There's a couple that have some sight. In our second building, which you will see on Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, we have our leukemia cats, our FIV cats, and some more blind cats. Um, can I say your name? Can I say my name? Sure, May, go right ahead. <laughs> you can say your name all you want. Uh, we uh, are a lifetime care sanctuary. We do not adopt. Our youngest cat is a combination between Minnie Mac and Ella. Only those two know how old they really are. Abby is our oldest cat. She's 17, 18. Angel's been here the longest. No, we do not have anybody here 24 hours a day. At your local shelters and your own vet's office, 95% in the United States do not have somebody on staff after 6 p.m. We have somebody here till 11 p.m. and somebody does live on property. But is there a body inside this building? No. But there's so many live feeds that there's plenty of people watching the cats 24 hours a day. You can go to our website, blindcatrescue.com. And click on the button that says watch us and you'll see all of our live feeds. And I think we've got two new ones we're going to add when the cameras get here. You can, uh, if you'd like to help the cats, please again visit our website, blindcatrescue.com. We do have a sponsorship program. You can sponsor one of the kitties. It's like a virtual adoption, so you don't have all the other expenses. For a dollar a day, less than a cup of coffee, 30 bucks a month, you can sponsor a kitty, have your name on their page, and get pictures and updates. So what else would you like to know? Do I, somebody asked earlier, do I have a favorite? Um, sure I do, but I'm gonna keep that secret because there's, you know, I have several. I mean, there's no parent out there who can honestly say they love everybody equally, that's just not true. Uh, so what else would you guys like to know? Ask away, you've got about five minutes and then we're gonna do news and open boxes. So what would you like to know? It's not gonna have a question, so fire off. Thank you very much, Lisa. Yeah, Catherine is a sponsor. She sponsors Pixie. She's been sponsored for quite some time. And we very much appreciate it. Sandy, <laughs> yes, it is very stressful to take care of them. Eric, uh, the youngest, is either Ella or Minnie Mac. Those two are the only two that know how old they really are. So, one of those two. Um, My goodness. Hi, Cassie. What's the problem? Lily, the you rally? Mm -hmm. Goodness gracious. What will happen if you have too many cats? Jeannie, that's a great question. My first name is No. No, no, and no. We're full. We are at capacity, and part of my job is to say no, and people don't understand that when you're full, you're full, you're full, you're full. So, you know, that is work capacity. Feline, come on. You've got multiple cats. They're family, and you know all your family's names, so we know all of our kitties' names. They're family. Um, is Ellie still behaving badly? Oh, she's a brat. Um, do most of them get along? Yeah. We have some days. Some days, not so much. 
Joan, Tom is doing well. He got out of the cage today. He's walking around. He seems to be getting stronger. Do we know the stronger senses like smell or hearing more than normal cats? Absolutely. You can walk in, especially with Penny. Penny's blind and deaf. Um, you walk out on the patio and you'll see if she's awake. She'll sit up and she immediately smells, but better yet, she knows who it is. And the cats know each other. They can't see each other, but you can see some of them don't like certain cats and they know exactly who they're smelling because they'll smack them. Um, so, you know, it's crazy. Um, there are nine. Really, there's 89 now. Are there any Sundays? Yes. Yes, we have Sandy and Sandy. Is that the only thing we got right now? Wow. Yeah. After it was just eating food for a long time. Yeah. A couple more questions, guys, and then we'll give news and open these boxes, and then we'll get, take you around for a mini tour. Thank you very, very much, Vicki. I appreciate that. Why are they in the lobby? Um, because Snickers goes in now, room four. Snickers used to not get along in any way, shape, or form. No way, shape, or form. When you're capacity light now, somebody comes to you with a crisis emergency, do we have somebody to refer to? No. Not particularly, because I'll be honest, I will not um, refer people to someplace I've not visibly been to. I have discovered that many people who say they're FELB sanctuaries are, in fact, hoarders. So I won't refer anybody to someplace I've not physically been there. I'll tell you, go pet finder, search your own area. Um, for other rescues, I will post them on Facebook, see if they can find a doctor. Um, oh, I'm so guys. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. I threw my shoes. It hurt. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I threw my shoes. Uh, how did I start it? Sandy, my daughter, and I volunteered for a local animal shelter for years and years and years and years. And that's how we got our first blind cat, our second blind cat, our third blind cat, our fourth blind cat. And at that point, we said, okay, it's time to do this and do it right. So we became a 501c3, became a nonprofit, and started. And here we are 10 years later with several buildings and lots of cats. Nicholas, so many of our cats have been through so much and have been through multiple homes. Somebody's got to say enough and give them forever. So that's the one promise I make to the cats is forever. We are in the poorest county in the entire state of North Carolina. Our state um, city, or main city, what the heck it's called? Our main county seat, I'll get there. Sorry, it's a long day. <laughs> Our county seat um, is the poorest town in the whole United States per capita. You can't get any poorer than that. So it's not like we have a long line of people saying, oh, let me have a leukemia positive cat. Oh, let me have a blind cat. So that's the second reason is we do not do it. Deborah, um, go volunteer for your local shelter for years. Learn every job, learn every law. Figure out how to pay for it. If you're going to do it, do it and do it right. Be responsible. Learn the word no. No has got to be the first word out of your mouth. I say no every single day, multiple times, because we are full and you have to know when you're full, you're full. If you're full, you're full. You're full. You can't keep taking cats because then you become a hoarder. So, you know, but you need to learn all the jobs. But more important, you need to learn the laws. North Carolina's got some of those backwards laws, along with worrying about what bathroom people are using. They won't allow the cats to be on dirt. They won't allow the cats to have contact with wood. Some of the laws are so insane. So, you want to know every single law, you got to know them upside down. you got to know how to do it right. Okay, so, here we go. 6.30, people are saying things about Ziggy. How about, let me tell you guys about Ziggy. Let's do the news. Um, as you guys can see by some of the comments going by, Ziggy has passed away. Um... Wendy Bunny's in the lobby. I'm going to tell you guys if you give me a chance. <laughs> Everybody, deep breath. <sighs> As you know, Ziggy has been sick. Ziggy has had a feeding tube. Ziggy um, is a leukemia positive kitty. We've had him at the specialist. He's had blood tests. He's had antibiotics after yin yang. Um, and he was not getting better which made no sense to me because I had cleared up his upper respiratory, we cleared up his pneumonia, but he was still not getting better. He should be eating on his own completely. He should be maintaining his own funny weight. He was not getting better. So yesterday I took him to the vet and to have new blood work done, have new x-rays done, to see why, what's going on. 
if you take your cat to the vet, people, please make sure you give your vet all the tools to make a decision so you are able to make a good decision. So my vet bless her because we have so many cats and I drive her crazy pestering her for blood work the next day has given me my own uh, lab account so I can immediately see the blood works so I'm not having to bug her to death for four days wait for her to get to it. So this morning when I saw his blood work come up I was just like OMG. He was so anemic he needed a transfusion at this point. His red blood cells were low, his hemocrit was low, his hemoglobin was low. These are things that carry oxygen. You need those to breathe. So I went and took a second look at him because his nose was pale, his gums were pale. And I sat down and started counting his respirations and I'm like, this is not a good thing. But he didn't look like he was in, he was suffering yet. We have a philosophy here, my vet and I have a philosophy that it's better to go on a good day than a bad day. And what that means is when we got a cat who's so sick that we know it's going to come down to them crashing and burning. We go ahead and euthanize them. It's better to take them a day early than to have waited until they're suffering and in pain. And with his blood work, that was coming up within days. So I got on the phone with her. So I got on the phone with the vet's office. She and I went over the blood work. She and I both agreed, hey, you know, today is going to be the day. It's Friday. If I didn't, I know I'd be Sunday with a very desperate, sick cat gasping for air, making a mad mash dash to the bed on Sunday. I was like, but we're just not going to do that to him. So, I waited till this afternoon because he was stable and held him. He was so funny, he was looking out the window, watching the birds as he said goodbye. So it was very quiet, very peaceful. It was the right thing. He didn't fight it. He was so anemic. Um, there was no fixing this. You cannot fix leukemia. Maybe a current? On a wheel. Okay. So, to answer your question, that is what happened to Ziggy. Um, you know, you have to do... What the hell? You can, I guess. Yeah, so we shoot each other now. Um, yeah. You have to do the right thing for the cats. And some people are like, oh, I can never do that. You know, I'm not going to sit there and watch a cat gasping for air. We, we've waited too long a couple times, and I swore I'd never, ever allow a cat to to suffer because of me being selfish and wanting to keep them a day longer than I should. So, you know, get the philosophy. It's better to go on a good day than a bad day. You don't want them suffering. So that is what happened with Ziggy. Now, Minnie Mac is in the hospital. Minnie Mac is also leukemia. We are waiting on blood work. We won't see that till tomorrow. He was running a fever. They've got the fever under control. But he's got something wrong with his back. She says it's crazy when she's running her hand along his back, he turns around and just wow. It's like he's got a bad segment in his back. So he's gotten some chiropractic work and he's gotten some, what's the thing with needles? Um, acupuncture. Acupuncture done. And we're waiting for his um, blood work to come back. So I don't know where he stands right now. We'll see. We'll make decisions. His x-rays didn't look bad except that one spot in his back. We make decisions when we have all the tools back. All the tools are not back yet. Um, we do have a new cat that uh, is coming in to replace Ziggy. Uh, it's another leukemia cat, obviously. Um, we're waiting on her last blood work. We will not accept a blind egg cat without a without full full testing to make sure they really are positive. So we have one who may be coming in who's a cute little uh, leukemia cat who can't came, who is coming from the same animal shelter that came Cookie came from. So, there we go. Domino, he's doing all right. He's, uh, he's doing okay. Do I ever get a funk? Of course I do, Stephanie. I mean, you know, some of these cats, some of these cats, you know, get to my heart, and he was one of them. Yes, Jennifer, yeah. are they get adjustments if they need them? Yeah, well, yeah, they, they get back adjustments, they get acupuncture, they get all kinds of crap. Our cats get the best medical care. Um, yeah, this is not... The typical rescue, you don't see us on Facebook saying, oh, chip in, chip in. We love it if you want to donate and help the cats. We deeply appreciate it. But we operate extremely responsible. We say no when we're at capacity and the cats get complete medical care. Um, so, yeah, the cats seem to like it. Donna's, he's, 
Um, Sandra, you don't have to be approved by anybody other than getting your 501 approved by the IRS. You know, like you said, each state's different. You know, for North Carolina, not a lot. Um, Hero, Holly is doing okay. Virginia, I'm not waving, sorry. Not waving, not me. Mm -hmm. And it's not me who does the meow. Anyway, I'm not sure who it is. Anyway, Holly's doing okay. I really, I'm surprised every day that Miss Holly is still with us. She's got such crappy kidneys. But her last blood work was actually pretty decent compared to, you know, compared to what I was expecting. So, you know. Um, thank you very much, Deanna. Youngest is either Mini Mac or Ella. They're the only two that have a clue how old they are. So, yeah, don't do this, folks, unless you're ready to give up 24 7, 365, give up your life. I would tell you honestly, don't do it. I would tell you to go volunteer for your local shelter, your local rescue, who's already got everything in place, and help them become the best. Help them become the biggest. Help them. Sorry, baby. Help them help more cats instead of you just starting another one. I mean, there's so many. Help the ones that are sitting there. And this is me saying, you know, this is with 10 years looking behind me. Um, Catherine, I just haven't updated this page. Um, Snigger came from Animal Control, vet bills by donations. There's a cat right there. That's Nina. That's Nina. There's Boone. We'll show you lots of cats. Here, <laughs> so let me show you guys. <laughs> Boone's sitting. Um, yeah, he came from Animal Control. But I'm serious, help your local. Yeah, I just updated the page, Jimmy. Um, help your local rescues. I have people say all the time, well, I want to do this. Let me tell you, you give up 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, vacation. <laughs> what was that? If you have a family, they suffer. My daughter will tell you she suffered tremendously because when I started this, she was 10 years old. She was out here every day having to help scoot, clean, take care of the cats. She wanted to take a vacation, tough cats sick. You want to go to some place tough, got to go to the vet. You know, oh my gosh, we're going someplace. Sorry, we got a crisis with the cat. Your family suffers tremendously. So go help a shelter or rescue that's already got the steps in progress. Help them become the best they can be. That way you're helping animals, you're helping something that's already established, so they're taking care of some of the steps for you, and you still have a life. And everyone that wants to adopt from us, there are plenty of shelters that need. Oh, absolutely. So, uh, well, we appreciate it if, you, if you'd like to donate, you can go on our website at blackcatrescue.com. Let me tell you about these boxes. These boxes are gifts from wonderful supporters like you. You can find our wish list on our website, blindcatrescue.com. Click the link that says wish list. And somebody said last night it was not working, but I clicked on it today. Double click it. It didn't work okay on me. Um, so, cat is just a long hair cat. Nothing specially, just a long hair cat. Ooh, these smell wonderful. Somebody has some talent and knows how to make this does not have who they are. This is their mailing instruction. Okay. These are from Barbara Orloff. Barbara Orloff. She makes catnip drops. They're look material, fabric, catnip toys. Oh, this is one. Here. Okay. Here, boom, boom. Oh, I know Annie goes crazy. Here, Molly. Angel, sweet angel. There's Angel. She, when everybody asks who's been yeah. the longest. Angel, hiding back there in the back. In the very back. Yeah, hiding back there in the back. Thank you very, very much, Barbara. These are so cool. She made just a whole bunch. They're just a little material tied to the cat in them. They smell like heaven. <laughs> well, the nice thing here is we don't adopt. So you can volunteer here, and I won't let you take a cat home. <laughs> you know. Huh? Okay, JL, I'm sorry. I don't quite understand what you're saying. Here. <laughs> you know. uh, watch this translation. Well, we have no name. We have no packing slip. These are from earlier. Um, often, Amazon does not give us packing slips. So they Often don't give us your name, and they never give us your contact information. So somebody sent us crystal litter. I strongly suspect this is probably from Linda. 
Mm -hmm. Can we make toys for the kitties and donate them? You must not have them yet. Or, or pass, pass by. Um, if you're asking if you can donate to Koi Shore, but I'll be honest with you, our cats have so many toys. I would tell you to Girl. donate them to your local shelter. Um, Sarah, Felix is doing fine. Um, Sarah, I would tell you to donate them to your local shelter. Our cats are blessed with so daggone much. That, uh, that's, the last thing. that's my hand. Excuse me. Cassie was just bothering her for her Gracious. toys. <laughs> um, um, we opened a few boxes earlier because they're cat litter and cat litter is very, very heavy. We use 120 cases of wet food and we use 60 boxes of dry litter every month. So this is from Andrea White. So this is in honor of Atticus, who we rescued from her friend Allison. So she sent us cat litter. Thank you very, very much. Um, Chris, wonderful question. Thank you very, very much. Um, you'll find those answers on our wish list. Yes, we do. Again, you can go to our website, blackhatrescue.com, and click on the button that says wish list. Don't click it. It's working okay for me. I got told yesterday it was not. Did Angel come as a kitten? No, she was an adult. Uh, this is from Michelle Siri, Siri now? S I N. I'm sorry, S I R N I O, in memory of Maja. I hope I said that right. I apologize. I am horrendous with names. She had a cat litter, so thank you very, very much for the cat litter. What should you do if you find a stray blind cat? Uh, May? I mean, you know, I, I really don't have a magic answer for you. I, I hope that if you find any stray cat, you'll give that cat a home. A black cat doesn't know it's blind, it knows it's a cat. And they act like regular cats. So, you know, I would, I would hope that you'd, give, you'd help the cat give it a home. That's what I've always done when I find strays. Look at those. Look at that thing. What are they doing out there? It's well, that's Friday night. That's the wheel. It's always like that Friday night. Gosh, somebody shooting crazy. Snickers is in the lobby, Chris. Gail Blackham. Gail Blackham. She sent us a whole bunch of food. Thank you very, very much. Gail and her daughter Holly come here a couple times a year. Snicker is out in the lobby. He'll be back in. We'll get to see him here in just a little bit. Moon, can I have this food? Okay. Well, that's an interesting sight. She's looking at the cat toy. How much dose it costs to take care of them a, mo a mouth? I'm assuming you're asking me how much does it cost to care for them per month? You know, I honestly, gosh, I have no clue. Our financials are at GuideStar.com. I would tell you to look there. I honestly, seriously, I have no idea. I've never said they're asking how much it is to be a sponsor. Do what? Oh, oh okay. So for sponsorship is a dollar a day. Thirty dollars a month. I care of everybody. You know, I've never been brave enough to quite look at that. <laughs> Some months are worse than others, depending on the bed holes. Um, this guy right here, one one year. Oh boy. <laughs> what are they doing? Is he in love with her? What is going? On? Oh, she said he loved my box. <laughs> the white cat is Penny. She's the only blind and deaf cat at BCR. We've had several over the years. She's on. Okay, we have no name. No packing stuff, but we have a bunch of food here. Whoever sent all this food, thank you very much, especially with Abaderm. Abaderm is expensive, and the cats go crazy for this stuff. They love this stuff. I know it's expensive, but the cats really appreciate it. So whoever sent all this food, thank you so much. We use 120 cases of this stuff, so that we can never have a few of those. Big, big boom boom. I know this is going to cause all these people to start attacking us. You have a financial question. What? Can I set up an automatic drive with you to donate each month, like paying a bill automatically? Yes. What a wonderful question. Thank you very, very much for asking it. Again, if you go to our website, blindcatrescue.com, click on the donate button. You'll see that there is one there for monthly donations. And you can become, what do we call it, becoming a sustainer. And what you do is you're helping us be provide quality care for the cats all year round by being set up as a sustainer. So thank you so very much for asking that question. <laughs> she tried to guard her catnip. He's never been much of a catnip ever. Right here. Boom boom.
maybe he'll become a nipper. Well, they all eat it. Maybe he'll become Look. a nipper. <laughs> maybe they'll become a nipper. Oh, 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 there's Pike. <laughs> hey, guys. You both have one. Oh. Excuse me. You have one, Boonie. He was just licking her and kissing her and loving her a minute ago. <laughs> They're like a regular couple. <laughs> you stop. Here's yours. Here's yours. Gracious <laughs> granny. Mommy work has never done. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, last box and then we'll give you a mini tour. As long as Facebook decides to keep cooperating. Let me try it. Again, no name, no packing slip. I have no idea who sent this, but this looks like a Linda box. Yes, it does. This Linda, because we have a whole bunch of this, and then we have a whole bunch of these. There would never be gas we have again. Several, <laughs> we have several diabetic cats. <laughs> So we go through a lot of strips. So if we ever sent this, I suspect it's you, Linda. Thank you very, very, very much. This certainly always makes our life much easier that we don't have to worry about supplies because you guys take such good care of us and sending stuff to help us. So we really appreciate it. You can find our wish list on Amazon.com. Go to our website, blindcatrescue.com. What's that website again? Oh, that's right. Blind Cat Rescue. Dot com. You'll find our wish list, how to donate by the month, or sponsor a kitty cat. But Do you guys have a campaign to bring awareness to the sustainer program? Well, not as good as it should be, but it's just me. <laughs> it's on our website. We need to push it more. I do bring it up during here. Um, I don't know how to do a campaign. Can you help me? <laughs> Give me advice. We need volunteers. We need help. Chris, we love uh, help. I, yeah, I'd love, <laughs> love to hear help. Um, so... Yeah, I thought that was from you, Linda. Thank you so much. You're so sweet. You always make sure we have everything we need. Look at this. <laughs> Molly. Molly is climbing into the... <laughs> I'm not real sure. This is all the catnip. If you want, I'll take the stuff out if you want. Okay. Or an option. Mm, that could be a red thing. Okay, now, now, okay. Molly. Would you like to come out? This is interesting. She's got her head stuck out now. Okay. okay. You feel too properly nipped now? Good. Thank you. Lily. Lily. She can help my computer. Lily. Let's see who else is in this room. Of course, you guys have seen Boone and Penny, and I guess they've made up. Hi. This is our outside patio area. This is Miss Tori. Hi, sweet girl. Tori came to us from another shelter after uh, she was pregnant, delivered, babies died. She got sick. Chris, if you could email me, my name is ALANA at blindcatrescue.com. Actually, you could write anything at blindcatrescue.com and I will see it. This is Mr. Hermes. I don't know why my daughter picked that name. My, my kid some of the names people ask um, how do our cats get named my daughter picked some of the names some of the people who watch us pick some of the names some of them come with names that they already know hey Libby hi baby it's dark out here it's part of our memorial garden all the rose bushes when the cats pass away we uh, let's see if we can go out there we bring them home and we bury them in the memorial garden. Boy, cats are throwing all their toys out here again. So, trying to do three things at one time. See the mess they've made? We gotta get out here and pick up. So we have beautiful rose bushes. And bird feeders that need to be filled. <laughs> and some more rose bushes. I don't know how long the internet's gonna stay with us, so if I lose you, I'll apologize. We have some stones. I have a purpose in walking all the way out here. We got lots of stones out here. People have sent stones to mark the different graves. A little blueberry bush has got lots of blueberries on there. And even I think my light likes are going to come back this year. Hallelujah. Hi, Serena. See, I'm on the outside right now. They're on the inside. Hi, Chester the Pester. Hi, Pop Pop. 
Okay, we'll go in here and see this wild group here. See how I'm going to slide you. Hi, guys. When it gets, weather gets bad, see that side door is down? It was raining earlier. Those can all lift up. So all these doors, see the big garage doors? Both sides open up. So in spring, summertime, all the doors are open. Lots of fresh air. Hi, Jelly Bean. Hi, buddy. Yep, unfortunately, Ziggy will be there. Poppy. Poppy's a New Yorker. She's a New Yorker girl. She and her brother Jamie came to us as very, very, very deathly sick kittens. Covered in ringworm. There were strays starving on the streets. Pester was a stray. What? What? Yes, you're being cute. What, Felix? Oh, oh, oh. you think? Yeah, you think so? Tell us about it. I just can't get away from you. <laughs> he does the licky. <laughs> That's for me doing that. <laughs> you doing the licky? You're too funny. What, Chester? <laughs> I stood up before you could jump on me. Chester's favorite spot. We have lots of pictures of Chester with visitors and him sitting on their top. And this is just a toy that my neighbor gave us. But our people who watch our live feeds, keep in mind we have four live feeds going all the time. They thought we had a new cat because it was sitting in a room. Somebody's cute and put it in a room.